This is the Channel 2 News Late Edition. Good evening, everyone. The massive search for missing barista Samantha Koenig is over, but it's not the news family and friends were hoping for. Anchorage police announced today they found a body they believe to be Samantha Koenig's in Matanuska Lake out in the valley. Channel 2's Jason Lamb was there as investigators dove into the frigid waters this evening, and he now joins us live from the Common Grounds coffee stand where Samantha was abducted more than two months ago. Jason. Maria, the place that became so well known as the headquarters in the search for Samantha Koenig has tonight become a makeshift memorial. You can see all the flowers that people have left behind in memory of Samantha as news of her death spreads across town tonight. At Matanuska Lake Monday afternoon, a worst case scenario showed up just outside Kevin Sturgeon's house. I just thought people were ice fishing. That's all I thought. I had no idea intentions on what was going on. Rumors of a horrible development in the Samantha Koenig abduction became a lot more suspicious out in the Matanuska Valley. Kevin says snow machines started showing up. Just riding back and forth and hearing chainsaws like... Just that's all I've been hearing until I came out and I just seen a bunch of people. And all it took was the Anchorage Police Department Monday to make it official. Earlier today, a forensic dive team discovered in Matanuska Lake when investigators believed to be the body of Samantha Koenig. Police say Koenig likely died within hours of her abduction back in February. Divers remained at Matanuska Lake into Monday night after scrambling several APD, FBI, and state trooper units earlier in the day when information was hard to come by. No, uh, not too much. Uh, we have information that's let us out here and uh, we're actively following them up. Meanwhile, the person police say is involved in Koenig's February abduction, Israel Keyes, remains in custody, but on a separate charge. Now police want to know if anyone saw Keyes' truck around Matanuska Lake around the beginning of February. More information so police can help make the best out of the worst. As the reality of this situation sinks in, investigators say they still have a lot more work to do. If you saw Israel Key's truck around the Matanuska Lake area around the time of Samantha Koenig's abduction around February 1st, police say they want to hear from you. Call the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Maria. All right. Thanks. Channel 2's Jason Lamb reporting tonight.